Um, and this one's very similar to the one I just kind of explained. And I'll just do the run through one more time. If you guys remember, when we have equations, like 5 equals 5, right? As long as I do the same thing to both sides, my equation is still true, right? If I add a 1 on both sides, it's still true. Well, same thing. What about if I divide by negative 1? My equation is still true. Inequalities are exactly the same way. Let's say I say 7 is less than or equal to 8. Well, if you add a 1 to both sides, you have 8 is less than or equal to 9. Your inequality still remains true. However, here's where inequalities differ from equations. If I divide by negative 1, I have now negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 9, which is now false. And we can't have that because we say, you know, whenever you do something on one side to the other side, they have to still be true, right? Because you're, you're doing it's, it's equal on both sides. So therefore, to make this inequality true, I need to flip the sign. So whenever, um, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, flip the sign. So if you guys look at this problem, first of all, we don't ever solve for a negative variable, right? We always solve for the positive variable, just like when you guys are solving equations. Negative x you know, plus 2 equals 5. Well, if you guys had to subtract 2, negative x equals 3. We didn't say negative x equals 3. You guys, we had to divide by negative 1 and say x equals negative 3. So here's the same thing. We need to get rid of that negative. So I'll divide by negative 1. Now I have a positive 4. Flip the sign. 4 is less than n. All right? Now the one thing I notice is since my variable is on the right side, it's not on the left, I can't say, oh, wherever the inequality sign goes, that's where my line goes. Right? That only works when your variable is on the left. So you could do it two ways. Notice my inequality sign is eating the n, right? Say like the alligator teeth. So you could say n is greater than 4. So then you make a big dot at 4, right? And you say all numbers that are greater than n or are greater than 4, which would be 5, 6, 7. So you go in this direction. Or if you're like, you know what, I'm still not that good at that doing it in my head, so let me do my test points. So you say, I'll be going to pick 0, 4, and 5. So you say 0 is greater than 4, 4 is greater than 4, and 5 is greater than 4. Well, you notice 0 greater than 4 is false, so obviously you're not going to shade that way. 4 is greater than 4, that's false, that's why we didn't shade in that dot. And 5 is greater than 4, which is true. So that's why we shaded to the right direction. Make sense? Sweat. Sweat. Thank you, Alex. Look at this. Knocking them out of the park. This is 